just get in there. We've been gardening, catching up on gardening, planting, planting corn, uh, harvesting tomatoes and everything that's forced us to be outside, away from the computer. This husband and wife had to switch up their Saturday routine because of PG&E's public safety power shutoff. Going through our normal routine and all of a sudden the computer just went a little gray and didn't realize the power is off. Yeah, how do we make coffee? Yeah. Didn't have any way to make coffee. No coffee, no internet. They're among the 1,600 customers in Yolo, Napa, and Solano counties affected by the planned power outage. PG&E explains this is all part of a program aimed at reducing the risk of wildfires during hot, windy, and dry weather. How did PG&E notify you guys that this might happen? They didn't. Uh, we heard rumors. Uh, and then a friend on Facebook posted it. Still, they say it hasn't been too bad because they've spent the spring preparing for fire season. Uh, the main thing was uh, water for the cattle, water for the animals. Uh, this place does not exist without water, and it's the most important thing. Ran out, got a generator uh, at 7.30 in the morning and got it up and running, and now we're fine. We don't have tornadoes. We don't have big snows. We don't have floods, but we have fires. Six years ago, we were not prepared. Now we are. That burned twice and this burned twice. As for how they feel about possibly not having power the next couple of days, Michael Amada, who's a retired fire chief, says he understands why PG&E is taking this measure. If it saves lives, if it saves property, and it prevents even just one major fire, it's all worth it. We can all do without electricity for a month if we have to, if it saves one life.